A clutch is basically a friction material, sort of like a brake pad that transfers the power between the motor and the transmission, which ultimately goes to the wheels. You have a flywheel on the end of the motor at the end of the crankshaft, which is in the bell housing of the transmission, and you have a clutch disc that bolts up to the flywheel. Then you have your pressure plate that holds the disc in place. So now you have the flywheel that's bolted up to the motor that's constantly spinning. Then you have the pressure plate that bolts up to the flywheel that holds the disc in place. And the disc is splined. The spline's right here in the middle of the disc that'll go onto the input shaft of the transmission. So the clutch spins freely in the middle. And every time you let in and out of the clutch pedal, the pressure plate moves back and forth to engage the disc to the flywheel. Friction eventually will stop the disc from turning and the pressure plate will transfer the power from the flywheel to the splined input shaft through the transmission which ultimately hits the ground. So as you can see, the flywheel gets bolted onto the crankshaft with bolts and it is stationary with the crankshaft now. Take the clutch disc and you stick the alignment tool through the center of the clutch disc and then through the center of the crankshaft. Then you line up the pressure plate onto the dowel pins. You can go ahead and start putting your bolts in. That's the actual motor. This is the end of the crankshaft opposite the timing belt. This will be covered up by the bell housing of the transmission. So now we're in the hole. We need to line it up. And there we go. And that's basically an install of a clutch.